In Abuja, the air is filled with anticipation as families prepare for Salah. This festive season, known for its vibrant celebrations, also highlights the significance of traditional fashion, especially for children. However, this year, tailors across the city are facing a disheartening trend. Trustee Vez Habiba Tajai has more to this. Markets of Abuja are bustling with activities as families gather to purchase fabrics for their Salah art fees. Children's fashion takes the spotlight, with parents eager to adore their little ones in the finest attire. Behind these exquisite garments are the skills and hands of tailors. However, despite the festival rush, many tailors are facing a, sig a significant decline in orders this year. We have some delay because of the light issue. Because if you are planning to sew a cloth in a week, maybe you don't have light for like three days. That is a step back. So we have we really have challenge. People are coming for patronage, not too high because of the e economy. This current government and current situation we are in now, people are not coming out to sew like before. I believe even when there is no light, there is a way people will come out to complain to the management of the market. But people are not more coming out like that because no people are not coming out like that because there is no more not mm, there's not more work like that because i believe this economy affects everybody that is why thank you mm, so much. you are welcome mm, this one is for men that i've already finished work on it's only for me to just and package it and deliver it for the owner but because i have a lot of work in my hand i'm just trying to meet up because i'm hearing here and there that maybe strike will the hair will continue tomorrow or no that is why i'm just trying to meet up with others so that people that have already promised to give them their clothes tomorrow i can meet up with them ah one to ten i can give it <laughs> Let me say it. Yes, it's too nice because fashion is one of the best things in this. And after food, my, my sister, when you eat finish, you have to wear clothes. If you have your money, for people to see that you have enough, you have money, they need to see by what you wear. You understand? That is it. Thank you so much, Sam. You. you are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. Several factors contribute to this drop in patronage. The economic impact of inflation has tightened budgets, prompting many families to seek more affordable alternatives or opt to reuse old outfits. Customers used to come before, but as it is now, we are just managing because the way the economy is now, no money, we are just managing. Do not say any of it. Despite these challenges, Many tailors remain hopeful. They persist in crafting beautiful, bespoke outfits, believing in the unique value of custom-made fashion. Habibat Ajayi, Trust TV News, Habuja.